The theory of oxygen, supplementing oxygen manually, um, aerobic exercise, often that's a question we get. What if I do more exercise? Am I able to get the amount of oxygen that I need? Under normal conditions, if it wasn't for all the other factors that, that interfere with oxygen absorption, good exercise, good food, good supplementation, we probably could survive much better than we are with the oxygen we breathe in. However, that's not what's happening. That's why you have some excellent supplements. Many of the supplements that Elkin that you're taking right now. Oxygen is another supplement to help maintain proper health within the body. Aerobic oxygen has been considered to be one of the most significant breakthroughs of the 20th century. Oxygen has been known to have tremendous effects. The harnessing of that oxygen or the binding of that oxygen has what has always been a problem in the scientific and research area. How do we bind and how do we hold oxygen? Just to give you an example, if we take a normal glass of water and we're to measure the amount of oxygen in that water, we're going to measure about nine parts per million. We can take an oxygen hose and inject more oxygen into that glass of water. However, after a few seconds and a few minutes, it just dissipates. It's not bonded. It doesn't hold itself in. So how can we get more oxygen into that, into that water, into a liquid form that we could take into our bodies other than through the breathing process? If you take and measure the amount of oxygen in a bottle of aerobic oxygen, you'll measure over 12,000 parts per million. Now, more important than that is the ability to stabilize that oxygen in a form that it will remain there. Uh, let me give you some examples. We talk about oxygen and its ability to destroy bacteria. Uh, as a water treatment, for example, if I was to stick my finger in that water, I would contaminate it and there would be bacteria in that, in that water. We can run it through a, uh, a system called ozonation. How many are familiar with ozonation? It's, it's a way and a means of putting oxygen or putting the water through ozone, which is another form of oxygen, to destroy that bacteria. However, because ozone is not stable, it dissipates very quickly, and that water can be contaminated once again very quickly. But if you put 10 drops of aerobic oxygen into that water, it will not only kill the bacteria, but you can recontaminate it and it will continue killing that bacteria and continue killing that bacteria because it's stable. And this is an important aspect with regards to how oxygen works within the body in its stable form. Um, the alkaline or pH is extremely important and we'll discuss that a little bit later on with regards to the ions. Um, is it important to have negatively charged ions or alkaline? One of the one of the elements or processes that sets aerobic oxygen apart from any other product on the market is its negative ions. We only stabilize the negative ion of aerobic oxygen. Normally, this wouldn't be really important to you. However, I want to bring in the aspect that since aerobic oxygen has been on the market, there has been other forms of stabilized oxygen of some type come on the market as well. Good Few Canada Corporation is the leading corporation in the world with regards to stabilized oxygen. We manufacture hydrogen peroxide, chlorine dioxides, various forms of that, and there are other companies that also manufacture various forms of hydrogen, um, hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, or ClO2. However, Good For You Canada Corporation is the only company in the world that manufactures and processes a stabilized oxygen molecule or a stabilized oxygen product in the form that aerobic oxygen is. And that's extremely important because if you are dealing with a company, the only company that manufactures it, then you know that you have the best available product anywhere in the world. 